Hello everyone, I am Ian Normus with Tech Defense, and today we're going to talk about basic dynamic malware analysis. Um, so for those of you who are familiar with malware analysis, you'll know there, there's kind of four categories of it. You have the basic static, which is taking a look at the file but not ever running it, um, but doing what you can there just by looking at headers and, and so on. Um, basic dynamic, which is running the malware and watching what it does. Then you have advanced static, which is uh, running it through a disassembler, so you can uh, you know, check out the code that way. Um, and of course, base, or, uh, advanced dynamic, which is where we throw it through a debugger and take it step by step through the processes. So before getting started uh, with the demo, let's just talk about my setup real quick. Um, so here I am going to be, or I am running VMware Workstation. Uh, you can use whatever virtual platform, of course you'd like, or even if you just have an old machine you want to fire up if you don't want to bother with the virtual side of things. Um, in addition to that, I'm running uh, with XP mode. That was really the only valid way to get a copy of Windows XP nowadays. Uh, so if you have a copy of Windows 7 that's licensed, you can um, download Windows XP mode and run it for free uh, and just suck that right into VMware. Um, or, of course, you can put it in a virtual box or, or, again, whatever virtual suite you prefer to use. In addition to Windows XP mode, um, the only extra things I got on here are just a few tools to help out with the analysis side of things. So before I you know, run through the demo, I'll just talk about these tools a little bit just to give you a basic overview before you see them. The Sysinternal suite, um, which is uh, you know familiar probably to most of you if you're in the sysadmin crowd, um, because there's a lot of tools in there uh, for sysadmin related activities. Um, but of course, like any tool suite, there's uh, various ways you can use that. So Sysinternal Suite has plenty of tools in it, but the two tools we'll be looking at mostly in here are Process Mod and Process Explorer. Um, and that'll help us with seeing what is running uh, while we have that malware going through. So uh, Netcat is the next tool uh, again, another tool that can be used for various purposes, uh, benign and malicious. Uh, but in our case, we're going to just have it listening on a port. So um, when our malware attempts to make a connection, it, it'll be able to, or at least it'll think it made a connection, even though we're not really replying back with anything. At least not in this tutorial. Uh, the next one we have is a pate DNS. Uh, and this is a, a tool that's really just going to collect all those DNS resolution attempts in a place where we can see them and also uh, you know, forward uh, or uh, respond with a record for the uh, loopback. So anything they try to resolve is going to go to 127.0.0.1. Um, we'll have Wireshark running, of course, which uh, you know we can gather PCAP, which we can you know, then... Uh, take a peek through after we're done and, and get through the analysis phase. And of course, uh, RedShot, which allows us to take a snapshot of the registry before and after we've run the malware to compare the results. Um, so without further ado, here comes the demo. Okay, so uh, here's the demo. We're starting off uh, just by taking a peek at the sample here. So you'll see I already downloaded a, a sample. Um, I got this from Threat Expert, uh, but I could have got it from various other places. So uh, first thing I'm going to do is open up RedShot here, and once it's up and running, I'm going to just hit first shot, so we can go ahead and grab that first one, and then later on we'll do another one to compare it to. Uh, default settings are fine for this application. So moving on from RedShot, we're going to check out a Pate DNS. Now again, this is a tool that's just going to um, you know, make everything go to the loopback. Any, any DNS resolution attempt go to the loopback. So by starting this up, I'm going to point it all to 127.0.0.1. I only have one interface uh, on this one, so I don't have to worry about that there. And just to make sure things are functioning properly, I always do a flush DNS after that. Uh, because if I went to anything right before that, there could be some things that are cached. And a quick ping to Google to make sure it's now taking me to the loopback. 
Uh, I should mention when I say isolate network up there, I'm not really isolating the network on this one. Um, and, and you'll see that once we get to the Wireshark portion. I am stopping DNS resolution, but not stopping the internet. Traffic. So you can see already, uh, you know, Pate saw me go to, uh, try to go to Google. And of course, if I double click it, it can show me the hex view of that same request. So our first sys internal tool we're going to check out is ProcessMont. And again, we're just getting this all started up so we can get it ready before we uh, start that uh, malware up. So with ProcessMon running, we're going to want to set some filters uh, because otherwise it's just going to be uh, too hard to view. So you can see already it's, uh, it's going pretty nuts, grabbing everything that's going on and uh, of course we're barely doing anything in the machine. So I'm just going to grab that exe name and make a filter so I only see things that that exe is doing. Uh, I could also do this to just see things that are written or just things that are deleted. Uh, but in this situation, I'm just going to look for this specific process. Uh, this doesn't help once it spawns new processes. Um, but for the purpose of this demo, this will be fine. Process Explorer is the next tool. So this is... Uh, a just a way to, I guess a more advanced task manager is the best way to uh, describe it. So uh, once I run this, you'll see it's just going to give me a little bit more information about what services spawned what services. Um, and of course we can kill everything from there. Um, but really just an advanced version of uh, task manager. So nothing too special there. Uh, next we're going to get Wireshark up and running. So we can sniff the traffic. And uh, bear with me with this VM. It's, uh, it's a little bit slow, um, especially once we get everything running. But uh, it does a trick for what we're trying to do here. So you got to select your interface, and then you hit Start. Uh, you'll see here, uh, I didn't select the interface first, so you get an error. But you got to select your one interface, or whichever one that happens to be for you. Press start, and then it's going to sniff everything. And just like a process monitor, we can start setting up filters in here if we wanted to. Uh, but I'm not really worried about that right now because we don't have a whole lot of network traffic going on on there. So next I'm going to set up Netcat just to listen on port 80. So going to change directory with a CD instead of a DC and get to where my tools are and netcat and I'm just going to run uh, tacl for listen and a tacp for port 80 of course I can set this up for whatever port I wanted it to uh, uh, respond on but this will be fine for now um, in more advanced scenarios I would typically want to um, you know, set up something that's actually going to reply back with some content so here I'm just going to show you that, all right, when we check out a doing net stat tech a and we see we're listening on port 80 and the PID we're listening on port 80 with is 984. So if we do a task list, um, we can check that PID, that process ID to make sure that aligns with netcat. So you can see I'm actually listening on port 80 with netcat and not something else. Additionally, you could do a net stat tech a and B, um, which will show you the process along with the service running, um, but you have to have certain privileges in order to be able to run that. This box, by the way, is set up with no AV or, or anything. It's uh, it's really just a pristine, uh, perfect val uh, environment for the malware to run in. So now let's run that malware. So open up that folder. We'll get all of our windows straight here so we have everything we want to see in the appropriate spot. All right, so let's uh, go to the samples folder. And this is you know, it's just that one sample that I grabbed. And let's run it. 
And again, it's going to take a second for my machine to respond here, because uh, with everything running, it uh, the, the resources get bogged down quite a bit. But in a second, we should get that pop-up letting us to uh, letting us run it. So there we go. Run, and immediately uh, down there in process of spore and in process mod, you saw that um, executable run spawn another process. And, and then dump out of process of spore and looking really quick at process monitor here we see it creating a, a ton of entries opening and closing files for a C script and uh, of course it's creating and deleting a whole lot of, a lot of registry stuff you see netcats listening on 80 and it got a wpad one I'm not really concerned with that one so hopefully that one goes away and we can start it up again so we can see uh, something, a little more substance to it. And you'll see up in the up DNS, we're already starting to see some activity there, all for uh, pointer records right now. But in a second, we should see a couple valid records, uh, A records. So there's one, and there's another, and another. All right, so it's just going through the list, trying to contact everything, but it can't get there um, because we're pointing everything to the loopback. But here you see Netcat now is trying to go to that site, uh, tenderbidsupply.com, go to the WP content directory and get that executable. So that's what it's trying to do. Um, because we had Netcat listening, it thinks it was able to make a connection, but not able to get to the site. So then you'll see it try a whole bunch more um, and within DNS, um, and of course within our other tools. Uh, by this point in time, the uh, EXE itself is probably gone, it's probably deleted itself, and it's uh, spawned off many other things in its stead. So quickly going through Process Monitor, we can see everything that that EXE did. So everything it ran, what it did, um, and we can see at the end there, close file, so that's the end, and, and we don't see anything else going on right now, so that means it's done doing its thing. Um, now, of course, other process that it spawned may still be doing something. See here that uh, we're in the samples directory, and that no longer, uh, that malware sample no longer exists there. It deleted itself. Uh, do show hot hidden files real quick so you can see there's nothing there. And that's pretty typical. It's uh, erasing its tracks once it's done, uh, doing what it's supposed to do. And from that, uh, you know, DNS query, and then the um, get we saw to that WordPress site, the WP content uh, for tender bit supply, um, we understand that it was trying to you know, download some more bad stuff. Um, of course, we still have a uh, Wireshark we haven't taken a look at and, and Redshot. So we're going to go ahead and take a peek at that. We've been monitoring this whole time though. Uh, but now we're going to go to Redshot. Not Reg Hot, as I wrote in there. So do a second shot, which will take a little bit. And what it's doing now is uh, just taking a, another snapshot of the registry so we can compare it to the first shot. Now it's done, we hit compare, and voila. Now it's going to show me you know, everything that's happened on this system. Now you're gonna notice some things on here that should be here um, just from us running, um, just for us running process spore, process mod. You're gonna see some things on here uh, because it's the first time running them on this, I guess this machine since we recently reverted to our clean image. But you can see there's a, it's deleted, it's added, it's created, many keys. Now without delving further into the uh, analysis side of things, um, can't really get into the portion of you know, what you're actually seeing here. But hopefully in these later videos, as we build this foundation, we can go into exactly what 
this uh, malware is doing and what other samples are doing. But it's pretty apparent at this point that this malware attempted to do some pretty shady things on our PC here. All right. So last but not least is Wireshark. Not going to spend a whole lot of time uh, with Wireshark. Uh, that could be a, a tutorial all in itself. But just to show you real quick that, hey, traffic was passing and I wanted to do so for this uh, demonstration so I could get some substantive uh, information. Uh, but you can see here UDP and the response back on UDP. So we were stopping DNS traffic, right? Uh, we're stopping DNS from being able to resolve, but that doesn't stop any hard-coded IP communication. So this gives us something to really take a peek at. And if you know, this was my organization where I saw this malware behave uh, in this manner, I would now be checking if any other machines went to that particular IP on that particular port for that protocol. Um, so, yeah, that is pretty much it for this demo and next time we'll talk about the analysis side.